Hi! In today's video, I will point out an important thing you should do, after you complete whole exome sequencing. It doesn't even matter what were the findings as it is true for both positive and negative results. Make sure, you download the raw data files. To understand what are those files, first we need a bit of information on how exome sequencing works. Exome sequencing, composed of two steps. The first is sequencing nearly all the protein coding regions of your DNA. Then, an analysis process is being done, to screen the sequence data for genetic variants. During the sequencing step, data files are generated. These files contain your genetic information. During the analysis step, another set of files are generated containing the list of variants that have been found. Note that it is very common to find such variants. A healthy person will usually have up to 20,000 to 30,000 genetic variants. Most are harmless variants and thus are not reported. A person with a genetic disorder won't see this list either. He will usually have only one or two variants specified in his genetic report. The data files contain your own, very personal information. Upon completion of the analysis you usually get a report with the findings. At this point, we strongly advise that you get a hold of the raw data files. At the end of the video I will specify the exact file types. The first reason is to be able to get a second opinion. Just as you complete an x-ray of your spine, you may store the images for further consultation with another expert. The same is true for your genetic information. Variant classification and occasionally even the very detection of a disease-causing variant differs by different observers using different tools. In addition, as science progresses, variants whose clinical significance was unknown might turn into variants known to cause a disorder or more commonly to benign variants that do not cause a medical problem. You can re-examine the results by using the raw data files without the need to repeat the full sequencing test. Another important reason is derived from how the exome analysis is being done. Sometimes, a deep analysis is done only for genes that are related to the reported symptoms. For instance, if you were tested due to epilepsy, the initial focus of the analysis would be on genes known to cause monogenic epilepsy. The detection and report of significant variants unrelated to the clinical symptoms that promoted the testing are called secondary or incidental findings. Those may not be reported. Could be that in the future, other symptoms may show up and you might want to focus the analysis on other genes. You can then use the raw files and avoid repeating the sequencing process all over again. The last reason is very important for people with a genetic disorder. This relates to research. If you get into research and you have the raw data files, this can really help researchers and it might even get you into research on top of candidates that don't hold those files. Before we will go over the files, I want to clarify an important point. If you would like to reanalyze sequencing data, you will have to pay for this service. Note that some labs will also extra charge for sharing the raw data with you. In addition, reanalysis of raw data is not an indefinite process. It seems to be most efficacious when performed within one to three years of the initial testing. After this period of time, resequencing by a newly available technology may be more beneficial. Now for the files. FASTQ or FASTA files hold the sequencing data. Those files can weigh a few gigabytes of data. VCF files hold the variants that were found. As we mentioned earlier, even a healthy person will have a huge list of variants. BAM or SAM files store the sequencing alignments, which are also important for reanalysis. It may be a different process depending on the lab performing the genetic test. The important bit is that you will ask for this information. In many cases you may still be able to get a hold of the data even few years after the test was done. So don't be hesitant and get your raw data files. The information was brought to you by the Nonsense Mutation Foundation. If your mutation type is nonsense, be sure to join us. Take care.